Julian's been running his business in Oxford for a decade. Oxford, I'm hungry. They had to shut for several days earlier this year because the road they were on was flooded. When he claimed for compensation, he expected to get about £2,000. Instead, he got 168. Unfortunately, because the small print was somewhere off on, in the ether on a cloud or whatever, um, we weren't aware that the policy had changed. And so we ended up having to settle the, uh, the claim, um, in my opinion, unreasonably. Julian's not alone. Plenty of businesses are struggling with their insurance. It's a very complex business, insurance, insuring your business. So uh, if you haven't got the, the right cover for your loss of trading, loss of business, loss of uh, materials and equipment, stock, and of course things like data, then <clears throat> you can find yourself in a great deal of problems. New figures show that for businesses in the southeast at risk of flooding, nearly a quarter of them had fewer customers and a drop in demand for products. The cost of the recent floods has been more than £5,000 to nearly 10% of those businesses. And 12% didn't have insurance which covered flooding because the price was simply too high. It's important that a business understands exactly what it's covered for. And of course there is an onus on the insurance company to make sure that uh, their customers understand what they're covered for and to make sure that the uh, terms and conditions are in plain English. Experts say the right flood insurance is critical for keeping businesses going. Julian says he feels let down by his experience, but has now found another insurer with the cover he wants. Charlotte Stacey, BBC South Today.